Hey everyone, it's Claire. Today's video is going to be my nighttime routine. I haven't seen a video like this, I don't think, ever on YouTube, so I wanted to do kind of something a bit different, show you what I wear to bed, because uh, I thought that was kind of cool. What, like, it kind of shows what kind of style people wear to bed, even though it really doesn't matter. I just really like to feel warm and comfy when I go to bed at night and, you know, look stylish too even if no one sees you in your pajamas. First of all, I use an electric toothbrush. My mom actually just got it from her dentist and it works really well. I don't know the name of it. Maybe I'll put it in the bottom bar or something. But you can get it from like any local dentist and I think the toothbrush was like $200 but it works super amazing. It has like a uh, vibrator built in and it just makes my mouth feel so refreshed and I floss at night and everything. Nighttime, morning, and then around lunch too. If I bring my toothbrush to school, which normally I don't do. But, you know, sometimes I do. And uh, so when I go to bed at night, I wear just like a regular shirt. Sometimes it's not a long sleeve shirt like this one. But I really like this one. This one is actually from Victoria's Secret. And it goes down right to about there. It's like this really pretty light kind of aqua-ish blue. And it cuts down really low. I normally don't wear a tank top to bed, so I didn't wear one in this video. And then my pants are from Aerie, and I really love Aerie's pants. They're super stylish and chic. Whenever I go to like sleepovers or stuff, I will always have my mom take me to Aerie and Victoria's Secret like the day before or something, so I can get like a cool new pajama set for like if we take pictures or something so yeah um when I go to bed at night I have to apply a lotion I usually use my Clinique lotion at during the daytime because I don't like to waste it at night so when uh, I go to bed I use my the top bill off of this but it's the Neutrogena Hydrating Makeup Remover Cleansing Towels and these are seven dollars extremely pricey but they will last you a long time and mine kind of dried up a little bit and I use, this might look really dirty, but these can actually be used three or four times. As you can tell, I've used it quite a lot. And I just kind of like fold it up, see how there's no makeup on this side. And then I take my age-defying toner to tone and calm by hydro hydroxytone. And I actually got this in a free sample. So I just take this, and I know that there's also product on this to begin with but this is kind of just like a toner kind of gives it like a two-in-one effect and then I will just rub this all over my face kind of um, focusing more on the eye area because that's where I put most of my makeup So after I take all my makeup off with the tablet I again take my toner and kind of dump it a little bit onto the palms of my hands and then I if you can see that you don't need to have a lot and just kind of pat it with your hands and pat it on your face you don't want to rub because I don't know why but there's an important reason not to rub toner into your face and just pat that all over your face on your neck I think because it disperses the oils or something like that and so as you can tell, no makeup on. It doesn't look too, too bad. I don't have that many breakouts this month, which I'm really happy about. And then I take my Pond's Dry Skin Cream. And you can actually use this in the shower to get mascara off. And it works really well. This goes for like 10 bucks in your local drugstore. Super, super And on my neck, this lotion works really great for any place on my neck that, you know, I wanted to apply it. lotion and this is the Olay Complete for sensitive skin and I kind of go back and forth with these two. I apply this mostly on my neckline but I just use that one tonight. And then for my eyes I use my Amore Pacific Intense Vitalizing Eye Complex and this is the moisture bound. You can find this on Sephora.com and uh, it's kind of expensive because it really really helps with under eye circles and uh, making sure that you don't get wrinkles a lot so you just take a tiny tiny bit of this stuff and you really only need like that much you can tell eye each eye and then put it on the top as well I'm not really sure if you're supposed to put this stuff on your eyes but I do because it feels really nice 
And eye cream makes me sleep really well. And I, I don't know what it is, but it makes me sleep really well. So I love that. Going into my lips, I use my Tarte Sugar Exfoliator in Lip Balm. And I first take this side. And this has a built-in mirror, so it's really great. And this just, you know, exfoliates my lips so that they're soft. And then I use the other side, which is not that side. <laughs> and uh, that's kind of like a, a bomb side, I guess you would say. And then I take my EOS Lip Balm, which they actually sent me. So thank you very much for sending me this. I really love this product. I bought this way before they sent it to me. This one is Cantaloupe. I have the Lemon Drop and then the Passion Fruit, I think it is. And I always apply this during school and stuff. My friends absolutely love it. But one thing you have to know about this, if you have really dry lips before you use this, you might want to apply another thing and then use this as well because this will make your trapped lips worse, but then after a while it actually helps your lips. So as you can tell, my lips aren't dry and that is thanks to this. But at the beginning, my lips chap so much when I first started using this. And when you get chapped lips, never pick because my mom did that and she has a scar going down her lip. It's not too, too bad. But whenever she wears lipsticks and stuff, it always like seeps up. And she's just really, you know, crazy about that. And then for my hands, I use two types of lotions. The first lotion I use is Shea Casimir Cash. The first lotion that I use two lotions for my hands. And the first one is True Blue Spa Shea Cashmere Hand Cream by Bath & Body Works. And this is really expensive. It's $6 for this little tiny thing, and it's only like one fluid, an fluid ounce. And I just apply like the tiniest amount of this stuff. It smells so amazing, and it leaves my hands really, really soft. And I actually use a hand sugar exfoliant. I just can't even like, I wish there was a way that you guys could smell this because it smells super good. And then I take my Beauty Wash Apple Teeny Body Lotion, and these go for like 12 bucks. Take, again, a really, really small amount and just apply this all over my hands so they smell nice and nice at night. <laughs> and then for my body odor nastiness, if I don't take a shower at night because I usually take one in the morning, I will use Suave 24-Hour Protection Tropical, Tropical Paradise. So good. And uh, freshness that lasts all day. And then I will take my Poland Spring Water. And you know, drink some because I get really, really thirsty at night. Because if I have a heater on in my room, which I have on right now, and it gets really, really hot at night, I will actually wake up in the middle of the night and it's really, really odd. And then if I have hair done up for that day for school, like I do right now, I will just take it down and get all the bobby pins out because I used to have bobby pins today. As you can tell, I used hairspray too. And I will just take this all out, use a brush like this. My hair has been really, really staticky lately. Let me know down below if your hair has been really staticky. But one of the uh, methods that I've been using is taking some water, splashing it on your hands when, before you go to school or at night, and then kind of just like brushing it down your hair. It works really well. Or maybe it's just the brush that I'm using. But my hair has been really, really overly staticky. And it's really odd. I used to use my Garnier Neutralis Nasty. Cannot say that word for my life. And this is the Skin Renew Anti Puff Eye Roller. But since I have bought some more expensive products, I've been trying to stay out of drugstore just for my face because my face is something that is really important to me and I want it to kind of last for a long time. And for my hair at night, whenever I have it dry or wet, I'm really not. I'm not sure if you're supposed to use this when, you're, when your hair is dry, but I use it anyway. And this is the Overnight Hair Rescue Caviar Anti-Aging. And I thought, when I bought this, I thought it was for your face. So I was going to give it to my mom for, like, Christmas present. But we just both share it now for our hair. And we use a small amount, like that. And that stuff is pretty cheap. It's, like, $25. And then I just kind of apply it to the ends of my hair. And then with whatever is left over, go like this throughout my scalp and kind of, like, massage it. So that is basically what I do for my nighttime routine. I usually just leave my hair down unless I put in braids with wet hair the night before. This is natural hair. I actually haven't straightened my hair for a really long time. I think it's been about like two weeks now. And my hair actually feels so much healthier. So 
if you have straight hair naturally, don't bother using a straightener because it'll only make your hair frizzy and more nasty in the end. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Hopefully it helped some of you get to kind of know my skin a little bit better, what I use, and just prove to you all that you can use drugstore lotions. It really doesn't matter. I use Clinique during the day because my I like my face to be kind of more moisturized, but this stuff works just as well, and it is like three times less expensive. So I hope you all enjoyed this video again, and have a great Wednesday night. I will talk to you all later. Bye. Bye.